Hello movie buffs, I'm right here at the world premiere of Real Steel, a huge spectacle of a movie that is definitely not a clunker. It just reminds me of those movies I loved growing up, Rocky, all of those. So was... That's Hugh Jackman talking about his attraction to making Real Steel. While the movie is not quite Rocky, it still has a great fighting chance. Make some money! The year is 2020. Robots have taken over the boxing ring and former boxers have been reduced to being low-rent boxing promoters. Jackman's Charlie is one of those washed-up boxers who now lives in a world where he doesn't fit in. But that is about to change with the arrival of his estranged son, Max, wonderfully played by Dakota Goyo. You can probably predict what happens next, but Goyo's performance makes the journey all worth it. I saw the four-wheel robots for the first time. They lit up, their eyes lit up. The fighting robot at the heart of the movie is Adam, a neglected bot who's also making a comeback. His name is Adam. From producer Steven Spielberg and directed by Sean Levy, the guy who gave us the Night at the Museum movies and last year's Date Night, Real Steel is cliched and predictable, but I would lie to you if I say I didn't clap in the end. It is an underdog movie after all, and the film hits the right notes. Part Rock'em Sock'em Robots, part Rocky with a dash of Transformers thrown in for good measure, there's all sorts of robots in the movie. They even dance. But my biggest problem with the film is this. If humans invented robots for fighting, why did they not invent robots for practical reasons like cleaning maybe? I spoke with screenwriter John Gatons. Yup, that's him acting in the movie with the funky hair. Look, if we could make them solar powered, I'd drive them to work. You know what I mean? It's you know the real reason I attended the world premiere is to see everybody do the robot. You know how to do the robot? Oh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I need you straight, straight, hook, up. <laughs> Kidding aside, I'm recommending the movie for Dakota's knockout performance. He reminds me of a young Ricky Schroeder from The Champ. This child actor nearly stole the movie from Jackman. It's just a good set of accomplishment. You feel so good about it. And for that, Real Steel gets three Champ 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 kisses. So there you have it, movie buffs. Go watch Real Steel. I'm Manny the movie guy being knocked out. <laughs>